Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing really well. So today I am doing a liquid lipstick review and it is the new Marc Jacobs liquid lip creams which look like this. Now I was actually sent these a couple of weeks ago and I was really intrigued by them because I really hit and miss with Marc Jacobs beauty. There are some things that I really like and there's some things that I just don't get on with. So I was really intrigued to try these because they're all nude shades. I'm a huge fan of nude lipsticks in general so I'm really excited to try these out for you. So I'm just going to read off what these liquid lipsticks actually are. This lasting wear meets hydration for a completely new liquid lipstick sensation. It says that it's available in a luxurious liquid formula that glides onto lips that stay looking plump all day long and this is because they are formulated with a Brazilian kind of butter, I don't know how to say the name of this, um, and also collagen. So it's supposed to give your lips a bit of a plumping look to them. And it says the creamy texture always feels cushiony and lips never appear cracked. There's a range of six bold nudes with a delicate vanilla scent. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of vanilla, but I don't mind it here and there in makeup, so I should be okay. And it also has a velvety doe foot applicator that delivers unexpected full nude coverage with a subtle satin sheen. So I am obviously a massive fan of matte liquid lipsticks, so these definitely will have a bit of a semi-matte look and feel to them. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna swatch all six shades for you guys. <laughs> of the swatches. I have put Slow Burn back on again because this is my favorite color from the range. So I'm gonna talk you through from packaging to application to like the feel of it now. So packaging wise, it is a very Marc Jacobs. It's very luxe. I mean, for $28, you kind of expect really beautiful packaging, which is what this is. It's the signature black and silver. And also there's a little circle right here, which indicates what color is inside. And I'm so glad that they did this because otherwise I'd have to keep reading what shade it is because you wouldn't know what color you'd be wearing. Although it's really, really small, I'm I'm glad that they did that because it kind of makes it easier and user friendly. The wand on here is a really, really good length. It's not too long where you feel like it's like really far away from your mouth and it's not too short where you feel like it's too close to your mouth. And the Dofa applicator picks up a really decent amount of product as well for when you apply it onto your lips. And in case you're wondering, the vanilla scent isn't too strong either. Yeah, packaging wise, I love it. The formula is beautiful. When I put it on my lips, I feel like about two dunks of this product into the tube covers my lips up. So if your lips are bigger or smaller than mine, you'd need more or less product. When it comes to actually applying the product, it is a very, very opaque, which is really, really nice. The last thing you want is a liquid lipstick to be quite sheer. I know some of the new formulas I've tried are quite sheer to begin with, and when they dry, they get really intense. Whereas this one is intense right off the bat, which is what I really love about it. You almost forget that you've got it on your lips when you're like talking or whatever. It's until when you kind of like press your lips together, you can kind of feel the product on there. It isn't drying and it is very, very moisturizing as well. It kind of feels like a balm on your lips and it is very, very lightweight, which is what I personally love when it comes to any kind of lip products. The heavier the lip product, the least I like it, if you know what I mean. So in the tube, you get 3.49 ml or 0.19 ounces, which if I compare it to the ABH liquid lipsticks, you get a little bit more on this. So although it is $28, you kind 
kind of do get a bit more product and of course it's a really luxe high-end brand. I'm really sorry if that piece of hair was annoying anyone. <laughs> if I put the whole I prefer matte liquid lipsticks aside, then this as a lipstick is really, really beautiful. Very, very luxurious, very creamy, very kind of satiny and velvety. They kind of remind me of the ColourPop Ultra Satin liquid lipsticks, very, very similar. But now I'm gonna test how they transfer because liquid lipsticks like this, which aren't matte, they do tend to like budge throughout the day and they do transfer on almost everything. So. If I was to kiss my finger, then yeah, you do get a little bit of transfer. I do find that the longer it's on your lips, it's less likely to transfer because I've just had to refilm this whole section um, because my mic stopped working. The battery was just slowly dying. So I'm having to refilm. I basically found that when I did the transfer proof earlier on, when it was a little bit more wetter, I did get more of a transfer. Whereas right now where it's kind of dried off and settled into my lips, it's not transferring that much. So those are my first initial thoughts of the lipstick. It's very beautiful. I do really like it even though it is obviously not my cup of tea when it comes to liquid lipsticks. But now I'm going to test the eight hour long wear and I'm really curious to this eight hour long lasting kind of statement because lipsticks like these generally don't last that long. Um, so I've had this on since one o'clock in the afternoon. It is currently quarter to one because I'm having to refilm it because of my damn mic. But I've had this on since one o'clock, so I've already had it on for 40 minutes. And so far, so good. So now I've got some errands to run and I need to quickly grab a bite to eat. So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna check in at the halfway mark, which is around the four hour long wear mark. And then also at the end, which I'm gonna try and do at eight o'clock in the evening. So that will give me a full kind of eight hour gap of me wearing this liquid lipstick. I'm not gonna reapply this lipstick. I'm not gonna touch it up. I just wanna see how long it lasts. And in case you're wondering, I haven't put a lip liner on underneath because I find with liquid lipsticks they should have that staying power without having to kind of line your lips if you know what I mean. So um, that I think is all for now and now you're going to be seeing the future me in four hours right now. So you guys, we are four and a half hours in to wearing these liquid lipsticks. My cousin came over to my house so I wasn't able to do a check-in at four. I ate some chocolate just a little while ago with my niece and nephew and then I also had a drink. I still haven't had any food yet so I'm gonna go after I have finished filming this but so far, I mean, the lips have held up really, really well. I'm actually really impressed that without any touch-ups, it's still looking pretty good. I mean, it's slightly dry along like this bit of my lips, um, but it still feels really, really comfortable. It hasn't really faded much and it still feels pretty like good and it looks really good. So halfway in, I definitely feel like I'm gonna eat up some of the words that I said earlier. It's definitely lasted on my lips a lot longer than I thought. I mean, transfer wise, it's not really transferring much at all. I mean, there's the odd bit like on the outside of my uh, lip, but like very, very minimal. So it might have faded slightly, really, really slightly on my lips, but it's nothing too drastic. It doesn't look like all the colors like come off on the center. It's still pretty even. So far, I am really, really quite liking this. I thought I wouldn't like it as much as I do right now. But yeah, I'm gonna now check in at eight o'clock and I will be able to give you my final thoughts and you guys will be able to see exactly what my lips look like and how this liquid lipstick has lasted. So with that being said, I will see you guys in another four hours time. So it's officially been eight hours of me wearing the liquid lipstick and I think it's fair to say that I don't think it really survived the food test. I found that around like five and a half hours into wearing these, my lips started feeling quite dry and I was kind of like, licking them because they were dry and I wasn't allowed to put anything on top of it. But I was in my car and I did have my heating on. So I don't know whether that played a part in my lips just feeling dry in general. When I look close up right now, I do have like some color around the like outer part of my lips, but all on the inside, like there's no lipstick on there. So the food definitely made the liquid lipstick disappear. Overall, I really liked the way that these liquid lipsticks felt on my lips, especially in the first four hours. I've noticed that this uh, nail is different to all the others, but <laughs> because I was dyeing my mum's hair and for some weird reason, there must've been a hole in the glove or something. It's a little bit annoying. I literally just noticed it now. Um, but yeah, but the first four hours of wear were like spot on, but it wasn't until like after like five and a half hours that I felt like my lips were slightly getting dry. And then obviously after eating, they had just kind of 
disappeared. I think my overall thoughts on these liquid lipsticks are that they are very luxurious, they are very creamy, they are satiny, they do have somewhat of a long staying power but not the full eight hour wear. However, if you aren't gonna like be eating or drinking loads, then I think that these lipsticks would last you that little bit longer than five and a half hours. But I'm kind of like on the fence with these at the moment. I'm sure I will make good use of them because I love the color selection of them. But this is the end of the video and this is definitely something new for me. I really enjoyed doing this kind of like catching up with you guys and letting you know how I felt about the lipsticks. So let me know if you want me to do this with any other brands or any other products out there because I feel like it's quite fun like to show you guys exactly how everything wears. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A full list of everything that I've got on my face makeup wise will be in the info box below. In case you're wondering what foundation I'm wearing because it has held up so well. It's the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer in One. It's incredible. Like I used to wear this last year or earlier on in the year and it was such a good foundation and I feel like I've fallen in love with it all over again. That was a bit of a side note and that is all for now. I don't think I'm forgetting to say anything and make sure you check the description box if there is anything that I have forgotten and please don't forget to follow me on all of my social media like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all of that will be linked in the info box below and if you guys would like to keep up to date with all my future uploads then don't forget to hit the subscribe button which is down there and yeah I guess that is it and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!